Hi, welcome. I'm SD Kelly. I know it's been a while, a year or so. Just look in the description below if you're curious about where I've been for the last year and a half or so. Anyway, I got this bread box for $2.99 at a thrift store, and I can't wait to show you how I made it over. First, I removed the knob. This piece must have had a really rough life before I found it, so I'm using crud cutter to get all the excess varnish off and icky sticky stuff and God knows what. And I'm using a soft mallet to put everything back into alignment. And then I'm using some wood putty filler to fix the old nail holes and dents and a chipped corner. And then I'm sanding everything smooth. Since there are no clear boundaries where the outside meets the inside of the box, I'm going ahead and creating them with a marker and then lining that with tape. I painted the top, bottom, and inside of the box with this dark blue clay paint by Country Chick called Peacoat. I soon realized how the door became misaligned over time and that's because it had one block on this side but not the other so I pried it off with a chisel and then I measured it to how far it went inside the box and I'll be using this one for the middle. The paint was getting a bit rough and not spreading as smoothly as I liked but some water helped solve that problem. I was hoping to reuse the blind nails in this that were already in place, but it wasn't working out so good. I had to use pliers to pry them out and then just use some wood glue and then hope for the best. To the front and sides, I applied this light green clay paint by Country Cheek called Happy Hour. I used a paint spatula to keep a straight border between the two colors of paint. I used this excellent chalk marker by Bistro to draw outlines of where I wanted the words to be. I used part of what I could see through the paint as a basic guide. However, I did wander off into my own whimsical freehand style, and I was just using the original pattern that I could barely see through the paint as a sizing guide. I filled in the lines with some white chalk paint by Waverly. I cleaned up the edges using the Happy Hour paint and I also painted a second coat of Happy Hour on the front. I added borders to the image with the dark marker and then I went over that with the color pea coat. I also used a dry brush technique to put some pea coat onto the letters. Everything was looking just a little bit too pretty, so I took some P100 sandpaper and added some artificial distress marks. And then I mixed some of the colors that I used with the white Waverly chalk paint and added some water to thin it out. And I used a wet brush to dry brush technique and used a sock that I don't wear anymore to kind of just smooth everything out and create an artificial aged look. I went back and forth a couple of times using the painting technique and also sandpapering it and wiping it down with the sock. Some of the sanded paint dust also smeared a little bit onto the other parts of the bread box, which is fine. To me, it just added character. I decided to add some blind nails to four wooden blocks and add feet to the bread box. I 
I used what you would call a blind nail kit. I also used some wood glue to help secure these feet in place. To finish and protect my work, I used this clear sealing wax by Kilts. I started with the inside and then I went over and buffed everything out with a lint-free cloth. 